as I wrote in Play All Night, Phil Walden is uh, probably had as much to do with the success of the Allman Brothers Band and at Fillmore East as any non-musician on the project. I might put Tom Dowd up there uh, as as the, the second non-musician there uh, for his uh, brilliant engineering and, and then post-production of the record but Phil Walden was the uh, was Dwayne's first sign Dwayne as his manager actually helped purchase his contract with Jerry Wexler um, they purchased his contract from Dwayne's contract from Rick Hall that's what led to the founding of the Allman Brothers Band um, a few months ago actually a little while, while back I was in Macon talking at Capricorn Studios which is really the house that Dwayne built on this subject on Phil Walden and the complications with the fact that Walden was their manager um, and their publisher and their booking agent. There was just, you know, a whole lot going on that, that ended up causing a tremendous amount of problems. It cost the Allman Brothers, uh, uh, the musicians themselves, a whole lot of money. You know, the, the band trusted him, and I think bands know better to, than to do that now, sign over this full trust. But the issue really is Phil Walden was their manager. He was their booking agent. He was their record label. Um, he, public, he was their public, public, publisher of their music. Um, Jerry Wexler, his partner in this endeavor, was co-owner of Capricorn, which was distributed by Atlantic, where you know Wexler was, was an Atlantic executive. Um, there's a lot of issues in this story, uh, and it all comes to a head when the money starts running out. But, you know, there, there was something about Phil Walden and his ability to build this music empire down here. And without Phil Walden and him, his belief in Dwayne and his belief in the band, 